fly away. There's a flame there, please. Fly away, please. Fly away, fly away. You'll burn. Fly away. Please, please fly. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. What was wrong? You had a nightmare again. Mm-hmm. About dead men. About a moth and a candle. All right, tell me. This dream has been haunting me since childhood. It started after my parents died. And now I have it again. This is the first time in so many years. Mm-hmm. What's it about? Well, I'm... I'm alone in the house at night, and the house is in deep woods. A candle's burning on the table. Suddenly, a moth flies into the window and moves straight to the candles. Stop, you'll burn, I shout. I try to chase it away. But it throws itself into the flame and burns. The poor thing. <laughs> Oh, and you call it a nightmare? They're stupid bugs, you know? They are stupid bugs, my <laughs> I feel uneasy, Oleg. I... I just feel that... that this is not at all good for me. Not good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what troubles could we possibly have? What? Or are you hiding something from me? Oh, come on, Oleg. What secrets could I have from you? Mm. Although there... There is one secret. But it's pleasant. Is it? Mm-hmm. Tell me, please. I won't. Tell me. <laughs> no. Tell me. No, no, no. Oh, come on, Oleg, tell Oleg, me. Oleg, you'll find out on your birthday. No, 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 no don't do it, please. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> The Tiny Moth Tango. Hello, neighbors. Hello. Off to work early in the morning, huh? Right on the money, we're off to work. And you must be going home to sleep after your night leisure. Yeah, kind of. All right. Were you lucky with roulette? And what about the roulette? I'm done with it. That's all for me. Oh, me too. I'm afraid you're going to leave all your money there. you got to believe me. I'm telling you, I haven't played since last month. Where have you been the whole night, then? <sighs> Coming home from my girlfriend's. Why did she throw you away in the morning, then? She has work to do, too. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. You think you really quit gambling? And what's the difference for us? He's not spending our money on the roulette. He's not a stranger, though. I've known him since childhood. It would be a shame if he gets into trouble. Hold on. I just can't stop thinking about your surprise. Well? What's your idea? I said you'd find out on your birthday, Oleg. Another terribly expensive gift? We've agreed to... To save all our money for a new place. Otherwise, we'll stay in the communal flat until we get old. All right, let's go, or you won't make it by nine. Haven't you ever hinted at it? <laughs> no, Katya. I'm as quiet as a mouse. Mm -hmm. You've been pregnant for over two months now. The husband has to know. Well, he's gonna know in two weeks at the festival table. I think it's gonna be the best birthday gift ever. Are you sure this gift will make him happy? He always complains about how cramped it is for the two of you. You're going to blindside him with the fact that you'll have to live in a communal flat with a child. Oh, come on, Katya. When Oleg finds out that we're having a boy, no difficulties will stop him. How do you know it's a boy? Oh, I haven't told you. I went to a consultation yesterday, 
And they determined the sex of my future child mm -hmm. because I got a sonogram. All uh right, -huh. let's look, look at look, it. Look, here's my boy. <gasps> <laughs> Dr. Zaretskaya, room 25. Thank yeah. you. How can I help you? Let's go. Come on, move. Move. I'll give it to Oleg to see during the birthday party. Let's go. Oh, here it goes. Uh-huh. Hello there. Hello. Does Dr. Saritskaya work here? Yes, it's me. Come in, please. Oh, fantastic. We've got a mad dog here. Oh, hush, 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 hush. Oleg. Hello. Hello. Could you tell me what time it is? It is 9. 15. Mm -hmm. Right, and why am I meeting you in this street at this time? Oh, come on. The subway train broke mm -hmm. down. I spent half an hour in the tunnel. Have you tried leaving home earlier? It's not gonna happen again, Zana. After you. Be careful, Oleg, or there'll be nothing to feed your wife with. There are plenty of other contestants for a place in my service center. Zana, Zana, Zana. Why are you like a mad dog on the loose? I've never been on a leash, unlike you are. That's it. Good boy. Calm down, honey. The examination's over. You can take him. Good boy. He's a wonderful dog. Well-bred and all. Our friends gave him to us for our wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. They are professional dog breeders. So what happened? He went mad now. What makes you think so? The dog's completely fine. Here you go. That's what I said. Fine, whatever. Come here. Do you know what this animal did? It ate Christina. Oh, God. Who's Christina exactly? It's our daughter's rag doll. We brought that doll from Paris. We paid 300 euros, by the way. No, that's it. Just put the dog down. There's no use in arguing. But we cannot put a healthy one-year-old dog down. <sighs> Is that somewhere in your rule book? <laughs> Would this convince you? Take it away. The exam doesn't cost that much, and you have to pay the cashier. Fine, as you wish. But since you don't want to help me, I'll have to find another way to solve the problem, won't I? Let's go. Let's go, there's no use in standing here. Let's go, I said. Give me the dog. Let's go. Come here, come here. Let's go, dear. Come on, let's go. All right, that's it. Aren't you kind-hearted? Sit down. Let's go. That's it. <sighs> what now? That witch would have killed him anyway. I'll take you home for a while, and then we'll see how it goes, okay? Are you out of your mind? What would you do with a dog in a communal flat? And then there'll be a baby, too. Anya, you should not be so sentimental these days. <sighs> All right, pointy ears. Lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. Just look at him. 
What am I going to do with you? Listen, the thing is, my former course mate, Vanya, works as a dog handler in the ministry. I'll call him. We could find a place for the dog. All right? Perhaps you'll be a hero. You'll be saving people. Whose car is this here? That one is a uh, Postava Lovas. That one, by the way, she is our VIP client, director of a large touristic company, and we ended up having to complete the order last week. Is it our fault that she treats it like a tractor? Well then, if you're so slow, you can work as a security guard in a fish store. Anywhere to get away from your shakedown. All right then, Oleg. During the lunch break, turn in your resignation. Let's go. You should have knocked. Come on, it's too late. Here's my resignation. So, have you found a better place to work than here? No, not yet. Hmm. But I'll find it, don't you doubt it. I'm not gonna prostrate, and you don't walk all over me. I'm not a rag. I can see you're not a rag. This is why I wanted to give you a promotion. My father is buying a new salon. I need it there. And you could stay here as a manager. Why have you been so mean the whole day then? Don't you understand, or are you playing a fool? Is it my wife? That's what it is, isn't it? I'm on her leash now, right? I just can't simply leave her now, you know that. I've been listening to this for half a year. You know what? It's enough, Oleg. That's it. I'm not one of those who wait in line for their happiness. And it would be better for you to leave. You can get your settlement next Monday. My dear, my sweet love, you know my attitude towards you. Your attitude is regular. To you, I am just a mistress at your work. You're mixing business with pleasure, so to say. But you love your wife, and you're afraid to leave her. No. I've never loved her. And I'm sick of my life with her, you know? It just played out like this. These are just words, Oleg. Hold on, look, listen here. We'll be together soon. It's just that now is not the best time for... for any kind of family scandal involving my wife. Why is that, hmm? My birthday's in two weeks, did you know that? My wife is preparing. She came up with some kind of surprise from before. You know what? A birthday is great. A birthday is wonderful. What if you celebrate it not in your stinky communal flat, but somewhere in Switzerland at a ski resort, hmm? Are you kidding me? Not at all. I'm inviting you. You really need to rest properly before your new position. Katya. Yes, we found a place for the dog. Yeah, Vitya even thanked me. They value Labradors highly, you know. He's taking him tomorrow. Over there, up and left, uh, about a hundred meters. 
Give me that. Give, give, give. Hey, let go, lady. Let Stop. go. Stop. Help. What is this? Are you all right? My bag. He went over there. I'll get him now. Stand down. <laughs> Enough. No more running. Let's go. All right. Is anything missing? I think it's all here. My money and documents. Well, all right. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. I recognized you. You went through the flats to get familiar with people when you were transferred to the district. <laughs> right. I recognized you, too. Razdolnaya 10, apartment 12. Isn't that right? That's right. Yeah. But I can't exactly remember your name. Anya. Anya. I I'm Petya. Uh, it's Petya Gorokov. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I've delivered the petty thief to the cell. He's underage and only 15 years old. Well, he steals like he's an adult. <laughs> no. Well, actually, this is his first offense. Uh, he lost a bet with some boys at school. They believed that he was a nerd or something, and then they started bullying him. I bet you can't rob a man in the middle of the day, and so he tried to prove that he was cool. So what's coming for him? Ah. Uh, You'll write a complaint now, and they'll file a criminal case. After that, the court will decide whether his sentence will be actual or suspended. Perhaps I shouldn't write a complaint. Why ruin the boy's life? Well, it's completely up to you. No complaint, no case. But I will keep a file on him for his own good. Agreed, then. Well, I'll be going home, then. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> and thank you once again. Oh, Anya! Oh, hold on, wait. Um, <clears throat> Here's my business card. Call me if you need me, <laughs> okay? All right. Have a good day. Goodbye. Not allowed inside. Come on, I'm here to see Max. Before you pay your debt, you won't set foot near the roulette. All right, let me in. I'll get it back. I should be on a roll today. I feel lucky in my skin. Why would I care about your luck? Show me the money. Let me in, I said. I'll talk to Max. <clears throat> get out of here before I wipe these steps with you, stinky beggar. So, 
I walk in. I had a great time. Right. Tell me more. I'm so sorry, honey. All right. Where have you been, though? What? Well, I've been sitting here alone for an hour already. Uh, look, there was a story, okay? I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you everything. Well? <laughs> Someone tore a bag from the shoulder of a girl from my district. And I had to chase the robber. Pursuit, helicopters, special ops shooting, all, the whole deal. Anyway, we got him. As soon as I dealt with him, I rushed in here to tell you. Do you understand? I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't have time to change, honey, but I'm here. <clears throat> who have you turned into, Petya? A district police officer or a detective who chases gangsters in the street? Hold on. Am I supposed to just walk by when someone's getting robbed right in front of me? <laughs> How much longer are we going to have such stories like this? I don't know. I, I can't say in advance. Hold on, Yulia. Are you jealous? Yulia. <laughs> Yulia, what is it? No way. I know very well that you'd never find anyone better than me. <laughs> or do you doubt it? <laughs> Not at all, Comrade General. <laughs> How do you like my present? It's amazing. I love it when you laugh. You ever had a snowball fight? <laughs> no? No, I'm scared. Come on now, throw one at me. Oleg, is it you? Oleg, is it you? Are you waiting for your husband? He's not thinking of you today. Perhaps he won't even come to sleep here. Why are you saying such silly things? Are you drunk? Anya, listen. I've known you since the day you were born. And our deceased mothers were close friends when they were alive together. Explain. What do you mean? I mean that we need to help each other when in trouble, my dear. And we're both in deep trouble, Anya. Deep trouble. <sighs> I'm all right, I guess. But I don't know what your trouble is right now. I've got a cousin over in Zaraisk. He's my last living relative, and he's dying. He urgently needs an extremely expensive operation. He's gathered some money, but it still isn't enough. How much more does he need? 30,000 rubles, but he needs it urgently, today or tomorrow. Anya, help me. Look, Mitya, what if you're lying? Perhaps you need the money for roulette. I'm not lying to you. I kept on playing only to help my brother. I haven't had a job in a year, you know. And in a month, I'm, I'm starting a new life. Friends have promised me to get a guard's position in the mall. I'll pay you back. Well, and what's the trouble that you're gonna help me with. It really hurts me to tell you this. Anya, but the truth is better. Shortly speaking, Oleg is lying to you. He has a woman on the side. What are you saying? I don't believe you. Will you give me the money if I prove it? Then prove it first. All right, look here. I caught them by accident. Look. Here they are, kissing on the street. And here they are in a pub. And then they left there together. This proves nothing, you hear? Uh, Anya, I've opened your eyes to the truth, but you don't want to see it. You're not going to give me the money, are you? Come on, now. You will get your money. 
But for now, please send me those photos, okay? All right, all right. Hanya, my dear, I'll go to my brother's no later than today. I promise you that. I'll go. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you sitting in the dark? I thought you were asleep. I was afraid to wake you. You know I never sleep when you come home late. Anya, I warned you that I had a side job that I would be coming home late from that. Turn on the lights. Listen. Here's the thing. We've got an order for two expensive Jeeps. And I'll have to leave for 10 days or so to Sochi. Oh, when are you going? Mm, on Friday or so, I think. Hold on. That means that you won't be here for your birthday? Look, I'm not the one who wants to do it. Why are you starting with me? I'll come back and we'll celebrate then. Is it a female customer? Excuse me? Who do you mean? I mean her. <laughs> we work together. She was just fooling around. And you have dinners together, right? How long have you two had that? So then, are you following me? No. It's just that I saw it by accident. Why did you take the pictures then? So that you wouldn't say that it's just in my head. You know, Oleg, I've been feeling lately that you've been lying to me. So you want the truth, huh? All right. I'll give you the truth. Twelve red, please. Here you go. I'm such an idiot. I got everything back. I was, I was even in the black. It was you who made me bet everything on zero. Stop freaking out. Here, have a drink now. No, I'm sorry, but there are no extras. You owe me extras now. All right, look, Max. Let me play one more time. Give me another chance, will you? You had your chance, but I'm afraid you missed it. You're a bastard. <clears throat> I could eat you alive right now, but you can live for some more. The guys will keep an eye on you, but only blame yourself. If you don't pay off your debt in five days, you hear me? But this is illegal. Who do I owe, I wonder? An underground racket that's not registered? How are you gonna prove that I owe you, I wonder? You gonna call the police? Ah, so now you care about the law. 
Well, all right then. You'll see what the law is like in here. Take him to the talk room. 13 black. Well, so now you know everything. Look on you. Perhaps it's good that we have talked about this. Why all of this now? Why is it? And why now? I just thought, I hoped, I just hoped that I could give you such a great present. Don't keep giving me gifts like that. I'm not a sugar baby. Oleg, are you serious? Is that, is that all you can tell me right now? Yeah, I have nothing else to say. All right, I'm gonna pack my things. Need help? No, I'll manage. Why not? I'll help. Here you go. Uh, hey, what? It's yours. Take it all. Make yourself scarce and just get out. I didn't know you were such a drama queen. Uh, 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 Did you hurt yourself? Don't touch me. Let me help you. Hands off, I said. Does it hurt? Go Are away. you okay? Get out of here now! All right, I'm going! Don't shout at me! I'll come get my things later. That's enough for now. Ay, 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 ay. They've hit you pretty hard, huh? Does it hurt? Are you, hmm? Are you a beast? Don't worry, my dear. My boys are not like this. You don't need to suffer. My boys are gentle. They'll just cut off your head straight away. Who are you? Me. I'm a man, a simple man, a shepherd, I'd even say. I teach sheep like you. So they tell me, they say you've lost a million on the roulette and you don't want to pay. Why so? Answer me. I just can't find such money in five days. You're right, a good boy, of course. Of course, you won't gather it even in a month, or even in a year. I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't worry. Why are you worrying so much? I'll, I'll help you. We'll make a deal. But watch out, it depends on you. If not, crows will be picking your corpse tomorrow.
ward is Anya Zeroskaya in? 35. Thank you. Hello. Sweetie. Oh, my dear. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I came here as soon as I knew you were being released. Anya. Anya, stop eating your heart over it. It'll work itself out. Worked itself out? I just lost my baby. I'm sorry. I chose the wrong words. Anya, the most important thing is that you're alive and well. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Mm-hmm. But what kind of life? What about Oleg? Did you tell him what happened? Not yet. And what's the point? Aren't you going to make peace with him? Are you going to burn all the bridges at once? He was the one who burned them. He was even glad that he managed to do it so quickly. Anya, perhaps you shouldn't be so straightforward. You were a family. That's what I thought, Katya. But we, we had no family. Only an illusion. I'll apply for divorce. I've changed the lock. Who are you? I am Rustam, the new host. Come in, come in. Why are you just standing there? A new host? What do you mean? Yes, exactly. The other room is mine now. And where, where's Mitya? How would I know? He sold the room to me. I don't care where he went. Come on. All right, show me the documents. What documents? Your passport. Sales agreement, certificate of registration of the property? Are you a policewoman to be checking me, huh? All right. Let the police check on you then. Hey, why are you so nervous? Hey, where are you going? All right, I'm waiting for him outside and he's still dawdling. It's almost six o'clock and it's getting late. Hold on, Yulia, just a minute. Yep. Uh, hello. Hello there. Hello. Hello, Anya. Did something happen? I don't quite understand. Something weird's happening in the apartment. Lady, would you be so kind to come and tell about your weird things during work time? It's too late now. The work day is over, okay? Uh, Yulia, hold on. Don't interrupt, please. <clears throat> Anya. Please tell me what happened. Okay. Don't interrupt. What do you mean? We're getting late for the movie. We'll waste our tickets. I'm sorry if this is not the right time. Uh, no, it's, it's quite all right. So, yeah. your husband kicked you out of the house, and you went to complain to your local officer, right? As if he's a nurse or something. What is wrong with you? Yulia, stop it, please. I understand how it seems. I'd feel the same way. But don't be rude to me, please. Sorry to bother you, Petya. No, no, no. Hold on. I I'm so sorry. Why are you embarrassing me in front of people? <laughs> Wait here. Anya! <laughs> Wait, okay? What happened to you? I already told you it was all legal, madam. Why would we fight? We're neighbors now. We should live in peace. My family is decent. This is Jamila, my wife. What do you think? Well, it looks like it's actually legal. The documents are all right. But where's Mitya? But we don't know, really. 
I think it went to another city or something, to his relatives. Yeah, we haven't even seen that man. You haven't seen him? How's that? He sold you the room, didn't he? No, my brother brought the room, and it was a present for us. We are just modest people. We don't have such money. And my brother has serious business in Moscow, so he helped us move here. It's our, it's our law. As soon as you make your break, you help your relatives. We give thanks to him. Much thanks our children would have their own roof over their heads. So, you have children? Yes. And how many? No, two for now. The boy is 12, the girl is 7. They are with my parents now. Yes, come in our home and dine with us tonight. Uh, no thanks, I need to run. My bride's waiting for me. Well, uh, goodbye and all the best. Uh, uh, so, Anya, do not worry. You're in no danger. Well, I'm sorry for delaying you for this. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's not a big Let deal. Let me hold that. Okay, then, thanks. Come someday to visit us. <laughs> we'll always be glad to see you. <laughs> All right, then. Well, goodbye once again. Call me if you need. Goodbye. Well, neighbor, let's get to the table and celebrate the acquaintance, shall we? Uh, no thanks. Some other time. But tell me, when are you planning to bring your children here? In a few months. It's a bit cramped here, of course. But I think that's all right. We'll fit in somehow. Yeah, it's a problem. Well, I can't help you with this. Well, why not? You can help us very well. My brother has contacts in the real estate market. He will find an option very quickly. What other option? A very good one. I don't doubt it. We'll get your room, and you'll get a separate flat. Not close to the center, of course, but not in a communal flat, on the other hand. All right. Do we have a deal? Hmm? That's something. Why would you have to move now? I don't know, Katya. Are you going to agree? Even the walls there remind me of him and what happened. <sighs> I can see. Do you miss Oleg? Not really. It's just that... It's difficult for me alone. As if I'm... I'm in the ruins of my own life. <laughs> Perhaps I should really agree to split the flat. Yes, perhaps you should. But let your parents find a good option for you. They're trying for their own good. I just can't stop thinking about Mitya. I don't understand where he could be. All right. And with your money, moreover... How much did you lend him? Well... 30,000. I'll tell you something. Your Mitya is a con man. He played too much on the roulette. And I'm certain you're not the only one he owns. Therefore, he sold his room quickly. And now he's hiding. He's gone. You won't find him now. Your money is gone too, my friend. If only it was the only trouble. Oh, you're home! I've got some news for you. What is it? My brother found a place for exchange. At which place? A very good one. It's only a half an hour's train ride to Moscow. It's a Khrushchev era house and the ground floor, but it's a separate flat. No, thanks. This is not what we agreed on. Look, what did you want for a room in a communal flat? I didn't want anything. I never asked for anything. I'm not the one who started this. Find a normal option and then we'll talk. Oh, you're such a stubborn woman. It's not good enough for you? You know how people say, buy nice or buy twice. Uh. Uh. Tea is ready. Yeah, all right. Look here. 
It's a rather strange story. With that flat, all right? Oh God, your head is full of such rubbish. Why don't you think about serious things in this world? For example? For example, why do you need a conflict with the owners of the food store? Come on. Uh. Such as how you are happy to press them? Who benefits from that, really? I've already told you. The neighbors have filed a complaint. The store sells alcohol at night. Alcoholics gather in the yard and make noise. You know that old ladies just have nothing to do. That's why they write in their complaints. And you report to your superiors straight away. You're rejecting your own benefits. I don't understand. What are you hinting at? Come on, why are you being so stubborn now? Your superiors will take that complaint themselves and go to the owners of the store to make a deal. You could have done that. I could have done what? Be clear. Are you advising me to take bribes here? Well, you're not a child. You understand that a man can't feed on truth. I don't want to feed on any meanness. If you don't like my advice, then find yourself another job where the paycheck is bigger. Look here. Why don't you find another groom then? With a much bigger paycheck than mine. Yes, I suppose I could do that. Sure, go ahead. Why are you wasting your time? Come on, go right now. Do you really want me to leave? Maybe I do. All right then. But consider this. You're gonna regret it later. My relatives came to visit us this evening. Can you turn the music down? Why is that? It's eight in the evening. I know the laws. I'm in my own house, by the way. How often are you going to have such parties? Hey, look, my relatives are staying for a long time. Do you see how many people there are in one room? When it's cramped, people become nervous and mean. What if something happens here? Oh, don't you dare threaten me. Who threatens you? Am I threatening you? I know the laws. My brother taught me. Has your brother also taught you to throw legal residents out of the flat? Oh, you've got a big attitude. Why are you so rude? You live alone? I think you don't know how to talk to men. Let's go. Hey, I'll show hands you. Hands off of me. Let's go. Let's go. Don't touch me. Oh, oh, it hurts, you fool. Oh. What have you done? You broke his finger. He won't be able to work to feed his children. Jamila, call the ambulance. And call the police, too. You see, Anya, after the visit of the crew, I'm obliged to give you a slap on the wrist for what you've done, all right? Come on now. Also lecture the offender. Oh, come on now. Do you think I don't understand what this is? Of course I understand that your parents lie to you and they put pressure on you. However, from the formal point of view, we can't complain. They're not violating anything. You're saying I'm making their life hell? Well, Rustam's relatives actually had an injury and the ambulance doctors have registered it. I shouldn't have resisted then. How would that have ended? No, Anya. You did everything right in that incident. You didn't get scared and resisted him. But they deny the very fact of the assault. What do I have to do next, Petya? They won't let me live. I'll prove that your parents are not right here, okay? And I will make them leave you alone but you're going to have to help me. How? Write a counterclaim, indicate all of the details, describe how they tried to push you towards unfavorable exchanges, threatened you and were rude to you. And don't forget to state that their assault was a result of your rejection of the exchange. And give me the claim and I'll send it to the district department. And then I'll personally explain everything to my superiors. Thank you. You know, I don't have anything to hope for except you. Look how it can be. 
I'm a native Moscow citizen, and I have no relatives and no friends around. If something happens, I'd be like a leaky boat in the sea. And your husband? Haven't you changed your mind? No, I've already applied for divorce. Uh, aren't you too quick? After what he did? All right, then. <clears throat> this is what we'll do. You're going... You're going to write this claim today. Tomorrow, I'll come to your work during lunchtime and take it. It would be quicker that way. Where do you work? Tell me. Is it someplace cool? Fuck yeah. Live that off-screen life. Hello, brother. Why are you late? You know I've got a lot of things to do. I'm sorry. All right, tell me, what happened tonight? I really just can't stand my neighbor. She turned out to be some kind of pest. I tried to do it nicely and harshly, but it's all in vain. Could you please deal with her for can't me? Can't you deal with the woman, huh? Please talk with her when you can. Can't do that. I shouldn't be in the public eye. And stop talking to her already. Well, what's to do then? Don't worry, brother. I'll deal with it. Thank you, brother. Okay. <sighs> Where can she be? Are you all right? He came right from behind the corner like a madman. I almost pulled her from under the wheels. I hardly managed to do that. Can you imagine? Yeah. Thank you. May I please yeah, go right. now? Bye. Okay, thanks, man. No, 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 it's cold. Why? Oh, thank you. Let's go. I'll walk you. Why are you shaking? It all played out well. We've drawn up the protocol. Perhaps they'll find the van. Although no one saw the license plate. It's probably covered in mud or something. Do you think Rustam was trying to kill me? No, he hardly wanted to kill you. Scare you, perhaps. Well, it's yet to be proven. If I don't cooperate now, then they can just kill me the next time and no one will prove anything anyway. No, you shouldn't be alone right now. Just sit it through somewhere else. Let's take you to a friend, shall we? Oh, not really. I can't go to Katya now. Her, her groom's coming today. I see. All right, then. I have another suggestion for you. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why are you laughing? Yeah. Your hat is so funny to me. Uh. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's strange. Why so? It's as if it were from really? the past. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. I've never thought about it before. Now then, uh, make yourself at home here. I'll come and pick you up at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Um, uh, no. Petya, I can't do this. It's uncomfortable for me. Why? It's as if I'm kicking you out of, out of your no, own apartment. No, Anya, it's all right. I'll, I'll stay at my friend's place.
Oh, hello. What brings you here? All right, Petya, listen. Stop playing a fool and just pretending to be offended. I thought you were offended, not me. I'll forgive you the first time. Well, why are you standing in the doorway? Are you happy that I'm back? Yulia, here's the thing. Oh, I see how it is. That is, I only had to disappear for a week, and now this? <sighs> Yulia, stop it. I'm not gonna make any excuses. Aren't you bothered by the fact that we're going to get married in a week? That information is outdated. Anya, it's all right. Yulia, I'm sorry. I just had nowhere to go. <clears throat> Anya! What have you done now? Anya! Anya. Hold on, I'm sorry. It was embarrassing. I don't know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Look, you can stay. I'm embarrassed it's all too. right. You can stay. No, no. You can no, stay with fine. us. I'll, I, I'll go. deal with it, okay? I said I'll go. Look, look, hold on. Let me walk you at least. At least a little bit. I'm so terribly sorry. Anya, look, I'm your friend, right? Why sleep at work then? Well, you were not alone. So what? I could make a bed for you in the living room. Igor's an unfussy, understanding man. Moreover, you'd have told him everything. Why would he need that? Why? What do you mean? He works in the investigation committee. Oh, I completely forgot about that. What an empty head I have. A regular district officer won't help you with this. You need to aim higher. Huh? Aim higher. Listen, you're moving in with me today. Igor will return from the work trip on Thursday and you'll tell him everything. Mm -hmm. No, Katya, it's not safe at your place. What if those con men come looking for you? They could show up at your apartment. Right. What will we do then? I'll go to the manager and ask for a vacation at my own expense and go to the village, to Angalia. All right, let your officer talk to Igor. I'll drive you to your aunt's place. No, Katya, there's no need for it. Uh, Petya will come pick me up. He walked me to the clinic yesterday and we arranged it. Hmm. His wife must be going mad from jealousy. The truth is, Petya told me that the wedding has been canceled. Are you serious? What did you tell him? <sighs> Nothing at all. Although I wasn't very upset, to be honest with you. Mm. You like him, don't you? Perhaps I do. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> well, why is your friends doing there in the car? Invite him in, huh? And you didn't believe my fortune-telling, Anya. I told you don't marry Oleg. He's spineless and very selfish. My cards told me everything. And I also told your parents to stay away from that farm. I knew there would be trouble. I knew it. I just wanted to ask what happened to the parents. They were killed, burned alive with the house. How and why? For the land. When Anya turned three, Kolya, her dad, sold his flat in Moscow, and he bought a farm here, near our village. And they moved in there, all three of them, Kolya, Natasha, and Anya. And what didn't they like in Moscow? 
My parents worked in a research institute for defense. When the institute was shut down in 1992, they decided to start a new life. Yeah, and they found their doom. But what actually happened then? Competitors started to assault Dad. They liked his land very much. They wanted to buy it out, but he wouldn't agree uh, to that. Kolya didn't know what demons he was dealing with. They were a bunch of criminals, you hear me? They tried to scare him once, and then they did that again. And then they set the house on fire at night. At least neighbors managed to drag Anya out of the fire. Oh, oh Kolya and Natasha didn't save themselves. That's the story. The girl was left without parents, and I lost my brother. Wait, but were those thugs ever found? Everyone knew who did it. Yeah. But there was no proof, and the case didn't go to court. Yeah. But the fate punished those terrible murderers anyway. They were all shot down in a showdown a year later, and that's how it all turned out after all. Father's farm was over there behind the river. He was born here. He thought this land would help him in times of trouble. And now it's my parents' grave. I see. So your Aunt Galia raised you, is that right? Ah, uh, yes. She did. I grew up here. But after school, I decided to go to Moscow. I went there and entered the university. Mom left me a room in the communal flat. <laughs> and I've been living there to this day. It's great that you came back to Moscow back then, you know? Otherwise, you and I wouldn't have met. Is it really important for you that we've met? Yes. Very much so. Only here I realized how much it mattered. Anyway, I'm not a poet, but maybe it's not the, the best moment, but I wanted to tell you. I wanted to say that I, uh... Please don't. Uh, not now, Petya. It's... It's just that, you see, I... I need to be alone. You see? Go. I will get there on my own. All right. Goodbye now. But... <clears throat> Petya? I'll be waiting for you. Then I'll come back. I'll deal with things and then I will come back. The situation is pretty clear. Yeah. Looks like the lady has run into black realtors. They're the kinds of people who take apartments from helpless citizens. They buy the places for a handful of pennies or take them as a payment for a debt. Uh, yeah, I've heard about it. But there's one thing. We can't file a case based on the information we have. There's too little material here. Nothing but guesses. Uh, well, I don't know. What do we do to make it a full-scale version? Right, that's a good question. We need a victim, a real one. One who has already had their apartment taken. And it seems like we have one lead here, her ex-neighbor. Well, I guess. 
If he's still alive, which I doubt. Well, hope is a hard habit to break. All right. Where would we look for him, then? At train stations with hobos? Why so? Why don't we start with Zaraisk? He did swear that he had a cousin there. Isn't that right? He most likely lied to make Anya give him some money. Well, we'll look into that. I'll check the information about his brother today, and if he exists, we'll go straight to him. But you'll have to go. I'm going to tell you Ben's got a mission. So I'm afraid this will be up to you. Got it. I'll manage it. Anya! You are busy with the house again. Couldn't you rest for a day, at least for me? Aunt Galia, I just can't find a place for myself. Um, uh, I feel uneasy all the time. Why is that, love? I just have a bad feeling that I've dragged Petya into it, too. Well, what are you worried about? What could really happen to Petya? I don't know. I recently had that bad dream again. About a papillon and a candle? Mm-hmm. Oh. This is just your childhood fear of fire coming back. Dreams just tell us a little bit about our life, only put in a different way. The papillon is basically you. The candle is your fate that scares you, oh, so much. Oh, prophetic dreams come very rarely to us. Some people don't even have one in a lifetime. But my heart is still so uneasy right now. Ah, oh, Anya, please. Have some rest, baby. You have come to enjoy nature and all its beauty. No, Aunt Galia, I can't stay without doing anything. I've been thinking of getting a job for myself. Oh, God. What job is that? There's a dairy plant nearby. There's milk, therefore there are cows. If there are cows, they need a veterinarian. Oh, oh, oh my Anya. Across the empty square he runs and hears behind his back the rumbling thunder, sonant and oh, heavy clatter. Enough performance at the workplace. Why are you here, Kavrigan? Your place is at the wheel, not in the cow shed. He's reading poems to us, Semyon Ivanovich. He says he's going to enter theatrical university. <laughs> I'll sign your resignation right now, do you hear me? Resign now and go to the capital. The lady will tell you how to find the theatrical university. She came to us from Moscow. Uh-huh. Oh, ho, ho. So tell me now, what brings such a guest here, huh? I'd like to be a veterinarian here. Really? She could come in handy. Capitan Nova's been on maternity since last week. By the way, you're a girl from the capital, right? Have you ever seen cows in the flesh? Really? Over again? Huh? Leave the room for females only. Get out right now! Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Why are you standing still? Get to work! Honestly speaking, I'm not sure you can handle the job. We don't have any Persian cats or pocket dogs or beautiful horses here. We only have cattle here. You know, you can see. Put me on probation then. For three days. You'll fire me if I don't manage. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Could you tell me where Lugovaya 17 is? Who are you looking for? Uh, I'm from the police. I'm looking for Zupkov, Valery Ivanovich. Brother went to the market not long ago. Brother? So you must be Dimitri then? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, in that case, I have a couple of questions. Well, come on in. Thank you, sir. I told Anya the truth about my brother. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. 
the thing is, I made up his illness and all. And the money that I begged from her turned out to be my downfall. Yeah, but what was the name of the man to whom you sold the room to? Well, funny enough, I don't even know who I sold it to. I guess the one who threatened to cut my head off bought it, but he didn't introduce himself. He registered the documents without me through a rogue company. I see. That is, it's all formally legal. Formally it is, but my room costs five times more. Hmm. All right. Who gave you the money then? Did you pay off your debt at the casino? I didn't even hold the money. I signed the documents on the street and that was it. They told me to go wherever I wanted to go and be grateful that I was alive. So then they took the entire room to repay the debt, right? Well, that's what I got from their conversation. The one who was the buyer, he repaid my debt and in return, he bought my room at a low price. They have that kind of agreement. He and his thugs intimidate debtors and the casino finds flat owners for him. I see now. That's a beautiful scheme. That is, they pay the debt of the owner and take the flat. And then they sell it at the market price, which is several times higher. Very much so. That's right. But you're saying he gave my room to his brother? Yeah, it could be quite a lead. If he gave it away for free, that is. They are apparently relatives. Therefore, they are parties to a criminal conspiracy against Anya. The only thing I won't be able to forgive myself for is that I got Anya in trouble. Her mother knew me since I was a toddler, and I defiled her memory. Why don't you help us? You'll end up making it right with Anya, you know? But how can I help if you're saying that those bastards made it all seem real? Look, I've got an idea. I need the address of the casino. <laughs> yeah, I can easily tell you. But you're not gonna get in. They're hiding. They don't let any ordinary person from the street in. Yeah, but how did you get there? I had a recommendation. A friend of mine brought me. He's their former partner, but he has moved to Germany already. Okay, what's his name? Borya Koretnikov. He's the ringleader of them all. Why are you so stubborn, huh? You don't like me, right? But who's gonna examine you? Hello. Princess from the capital. Why are you so late? I just can't seem to approach her. She's not letting me near her. Oh, that's Manka. And she's the most stubborn one here. Right, Manka? What would I do with this Manka? Can you just give me a hint? Does she have a health issue? Well, she's wounded her rear leg with a wire, I guess, or Don't, a... don't come up from the back. What are you doing? You can't come up from the back. Stroke right here, okay? It's all right. Now scratch, scratch between her horns right there. Okay, good. Don't be afraid now. Come on, stroke it right there on the top of the shoulder. Huh? Call her nicely by her name. That's when she'll recognize you. She recognizes your voice when you call her name. Mm-hmm. Manka, Manka. Good girl. <laughs> We're going to treat your wound now. You're going to be good as new. That's it. Good girl. That's it. Uh, oh, shh, shh, shh. What is it? Don't you be afraid. She won't kick you now. Mm-hmm. Her wound is severe. I really should give her a tetanus vaccination. Hold on, it's here. Uh, you inject it now. Uh, I'm gonna watch you carefully so that Manka doesn't kick you. I don't need to be watched. You've helped already, thank you. Are you sure you're gonna make it? Go away. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Manka. Hey, it's me. You did a good job. I saw how well you did. I'm gonna give you a ride in my milk truck for that, all right? Now, do you know how beautiful it is? Do you really understand? I know. I'd like to get home soon and fall asleep. All right, I'll, I'll take you home. On the weekend, we can go to the district center or spend some time somewhere. Go to the cinema, huh? Aren't you afraid? Of what? Of that. Of what? Do you know who my groom is? <laughs> who is he? A gangster, huh? Mm -mm. Much worse. A policeman. You could have told me that right away. Huh. Thank you. 
Whom do you need, sir? Uh, I'd like to see Max, the administrator. This is the wrong door. There's no Max here. <laughs> His friend, Borea Karetnikov, sent me. We met in Frankfurt. Have you been playing in that casino for a week already? Mm -hmm. I go there every evening, as if on duty. And I'm very lucky, you know? Come on, are you winning? <laughs> Seriously, though, tell me, have you gotten rich? No, not at all. I'm losing now. Where's the luck, then? It's in the fact that I already owe them about 200000 Do you know that they don't demand the debt back and allow me to play on the knock? Well? This is because I told the administrator that I had an apartment in the center of Moscow. And I'm the only owner. <laughs> Man! You should be a detective at least, not a district police officer. Well, I'll <laughs> think about it later. <clears throat> now we need to finish with this casino. You don't have to worry anymore. You found that den and performed reconnaissance. That's it. We can shut it down now. During the investigation, we'll organize face-offs. You'll identify the employees. No, hold on. I won't do that. What about Anya? Well, what about her? What about Anya? You said her neighbor's brother was connected to the casino. We'll get both of them. No, 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 hold on. What if he stays aside? He's not the administrator or a stickman or a guard. He's responsible for the flats of the debtors. That's the bite that we're going to use. We're going to use that to catch him. Well, it's actually reasonable. Well, then... Who is going to be the bait? What do you think, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Look, I assure you, I assure you, a couple more tries and my debt will be as big as Mitya's is. And then those black realtors are gonna show up, trust me. Your bets, please. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. One, red. Hey, Max, have you seen this? Looks like it's not your day today. Yeah. That's something. You lost 300,000 in an hour. That's all right. I'll recuperate it. I already warned you. There will be no more credits. Oh, come on, Max. What are you starting at, huh? Give me a little. Give me a hundred thousand, maybe. I'll pay you back. I'll recuperate it and I'll pay you back. Return what you already owe first. I won't be able to return it all at once. You know how big my debt is. Uh, just give me a little time, okay? I'm not the boss here. Other people deal with such issues. Well, could we make a deal then? You know me, please. All right, let's go. Yeah. We'll try to make a deal. Okay. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Guys, what are you doing? No. Ah. Ah. Enough. Lift him up. He owes half a million. And he says he has no money. He's asking for a respite. You're behaving very improperly. Do you want to get killed right here? Huh? Tell me, Pauper. Why did you take money for the bet if you couldn't repay it? It was devil's work. I thought I'd get lucky. 
Get lucky. <laughs> Have you heard him? You've got very lucky. Very lucky. I'll pay your debt. In return, you'll give me your apartment. Is that clear? What are you talking about? I only owe 5,000. That's how much you're gonna take for the flat? Do you know how much it costs, man? Not more than your worthless life, huh? What are you doing, you guys? Uh, this is madness. What, what are you doing, huh? Ah! 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 Ahmed, he has a bug on him. Who are you? Stand down! Down! Face the floor! Stop! Stay down, Hands everyone! On the, nape. on the nape, I say! Hands on the wall! Legs shoulder width apart! Stop! Hands up! Petya! Petya! Damn it! Here. Igor? Why are you here? Did something happen? I've got some urgent news for your friend. All right, tell me. Her neighbor's brother got caught in the act yesterday. Blackmail, racketeering, attempted murder. Full set, really. And the neighbor went away after that. He went home urgently with his wife. His friends warned him, apparently. All right, I'll call Anya right now and make her glad. Hold on, you won't be making her glad. Petya was shot during the arrest. Lady, where are you going? Excuse me. I know that you can't hear me right now. But you, you will get well. Definitely. I believe in it. I really need you so much. So much.
Mitya? Mitya, is that you? Oh, hello. It's me, I think. <laughs> Where are you coming from? From the district court. What were you doing there? Listening to the verdict. The deal on the sale of a room belonging to Dmitry Bushuev is to be deemed illegal because it was concluded through physical violence and blackmail as well, you know? So they returned the room to you? That's right. Anya! Petya. Petya! <laughs> have a yeah. toast yeah. to leaving all troubles behind us mm. yeah. and to the fact that we're all here mm. at the table today. Oh, hooray! Yeah. Hooray! Hooray! hooray. <laughs> mm. Anyway, I'm not going to stay here very long. But why? You do have your property back now. I got used to living with my brother in Zoraisk, and there's a two-story house with a garden. The air is wonderful. It's Moreover, so there's no roulette <laughs> or any other dangerous temptations. Oh, please try to find a decent neighbor for her this time. Don't let my Anya down. Anya, have you changed your mind about moving? Well, I mean, you know, life goes on. Bad things are forgotten. And these are native walls. My mother grew up in this room. But... I will have to leave anyway. But why leave if you don't want to? Mm -hmm. Well, there is a reason. What reason? Come on now, tell us, huh? All right, calm down. I have to say something important. <laughs> all right, all right. <sighs> My dear Anya, I've got a special present for you. Mm -hmm. Not the most luxurious one, perhaps, <laughs> but it is from the heart. <laughs> 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 It's from the same heart that has been yours since we first met. Oh, I think he's going to propose to her now. <laughs> he's already proposed, Angalia. Do you remember how you told me that there's a long common road ahead of us? <laughs> I'll tell you without reading cards, you must say yes. I've already said it. <laughs> ah. Oh, so that's why you're moving, is that right? We'll search for the buyer together. Hold on a second, Mitya. I've already found a buyer for you. It's for your apartment. I'll be the one to buy your room. Of course, if you're all right with that, that is. Wow. Now that's right. Yeah. Great move. <laughs> and now Anya won't have to move out of her own house. From our own house. Our own house. What? They should kiss. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss now. Kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> 